Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane E, and I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and on this show, I react to comedy music from the perspective of a comedy musician, and this week, we're reacting to Halloween songs. If you're part of my Patreon, you got to see this on Halloween. Probably late on Halloween, but still on Halloween nonetheless. If you're watching this normally, yes, this went up on the Friday after Halloween, because Halloween was on a Monday this year. If you want to see these videos early, you can join my Patreon. But let's get what we're doing out of the way. We have three songs to get through. We have Voorhees by Two Sleeps. We have Psycho Stick's Ghostbuster cover, done in the style of Sepultura. And we have the new Slash Street Boys song, uh, Love to Die or something like that. I suddenly cannot remember the name of the song. However, if you like this sort of content, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos. And if you really want to help the channel out, like I mentioned before, consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get reactions early and get to hear my music early. That's right, I am a comedy musician. I do my own music, and you get to hear that early on Patreon. Get your name in the credits. Get exclusive Patreon-only reactions. Uh, coming up onto the exclusive reactions, uh, I'm going to be reacting to the new weird The Al Yankovic Story biopic exclusively on Patreon. Now, the one on Patreon will probably be a uh, watch with me reaction where you can watch them, you can queue it up to the movie and watch it with me with my reaction. I will probably put a condensed version of that on YouTube if they allow me to. Uh, but, you know, that's the plan that comes out on Friday, the day that this video goes up for everyone else, on Friday the 4th. Also, on uh, Saturday the 5th, I'm performing here in Chicago. I will be performing. Uh, my buddy Robbie Ellis has a brand new album coming out on Friday called The Metric System. Uh, Robbie is a comedy musician here in Chicago, uh, originally from New Zealand. Uh, very, very funny guy, uh, and is doing a album release show on Saturday for the album that comes out on Friday. Uh, he does things a little differently. Instead of him performing the songs on his album, he has his comedy music friends perform songs. So I'll be doing an original of mine, as well as a cover of one of Robbie's songs. And that will be at the Annoyance Theater at 7.30 on Saturday. If you are in the Chicago area, please consider checking it out. Uh, link to the theater for ticket info is in the description below. Uh, I think it's like 20 bucks for the show. There's like something like 18 different comedy musicians there. So they will be performing uh, one of their own songs and then one of Robbie's songs from his new album. Also, Robbie is amazing uh, and a brilliant uh, comedy musician. Check out his music if you haven't already. I will also have a link to his new album in the description below, as well as links to these videos in case you want to see them without me yammering all over them. Which, uh, you know, apparently is a thing. Uh, yeah, imagine that, watching a video without somebody talking over it. Weird! But uh, speaking of that, for those of you new here, I do pause the video so that I can react to it. Which means I'm going to pause it often, because I don't want to cover up the song with me talking, I also don't want to miss any of the jokes by me talking over it. So there will be pausing, rewinding, all sorts of things like that. If that bothers you, reaction videos probably aren't for you. Just saying. Anyway, enough of all that blatherskite, let's dive into the first song. This is a song called Voorhees by Two Sleeps. Two Sleeps uh, is uh, a, a relatively new comedy musician to me. Uh, they have uh, appeared on The Fump many times. If you don't know what The Fump is, that's The Funny Music Project. That is a website that I am a part of. Uh, they release two comedy songs a week for free under a Creative Commons license and have been doing so since 2007. I'm a member of The Fump. I'm a core member of The Fump. Uh, we, we vote on songs that, that get uh, submitted and also uh, post songs ourselves. Obviously, I post songs there. I also run their social media and do their press. Uh, but uh, but uh, Two Sleeps has been posting songs for a good couple of months. This is a song based on Friday the 13th Part 2. Uh, so I am excited to see this and check it out. I know uh, it just hit the thump a couple days ago, and he's got a music video for it. So let's check out this one. 
And it, just from the opening shot, it looks like it's going to use clips from the actual movie. got to appreciate the, the 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 logo done in the style of the poster for the movie and the little ki ki hi ka ha ha's in the in the background ki he is it ki he he or ki 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 it changes with every movie honestly so it could be either or <laughs> okay, so it's uh, it's also showing a lot of the kills throughout this. Uh, I, I should have prefaced this. Two Sleeps does uh, some heavier comedy music, kind of like Psycho Stick does, and that's going to be another song that's coming up next. So having Two Sleeps and Psycho Stick in the same video, that's going to be awesome. Uh, but yes, this is a, a much heavier comedy song. I do appreciate that he's got the lyrics on screen for this, uh, because... Uh, Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell in a mix uh, if you're doing it a proper, like, heavy song. Sometimes the lyrics don't come through as well as they can. Uh, and having... Uh, in comedy music, you want the lyrics to be the, the, the focus. But if you're trying to do it in a certain style, sometimes that doesn't happen. Uh, also, I appreciate this is done in the... We'll call it the Jeff Whitmire style of music video where it's clips and then it's just uh, cutting two shots of the artist just singing at the camera. Uh, there's, there's not really anything wrong with that style. Jeff Wetmeyer is a friend of mine and actually Two Sleeps does music for Jeff occasionally, so it's kind of interesting that there's that crossover even in the how they do the music video. Uh, you know, it, it, you're doing a song on a pop culture thing, you're going to show clips of that pop culture thing and you're going to you know, occasionally cut to you to realize that, yes, there's a person behind making this music and you can see their face and this is them performing. So he's walking through the woods doing that. Um, personally, I would try to add more jokes into the visuals with the, you know, uh, performance, either by me doing something funny or having something funny happen to me or, or using the clips in a humorous way. But that said, we haven't even gotten through the whole video yet, but that's, you know, a thing that I think about when I see Jeff's videos and seeing this is done in a similar way, I immediately think of that. So, ha. Also, generic Ghostbusters costume today. So, yeah, Halloween. Yeah, man, all the kills in the second movie, they're all really good. And, like, they all come out of nowhere. It's, it's good stuff. Oh, all the way down the stairs in the wheelchair backwards. You're, it doesn't. He doesn't care. He's already dead. He's got a thing right through his face. Oh. Dude, he's got such an impressive beard. Um, also, I love the hook on this. Be my friend or be my foe, but either way, you've got to go. Excellent. Uh, the line about my spear's bigger, subtle sexual innuendo in that, because, you know, that's the thing in the horror movies. If you have sex, you're going to die. If you, if you lose your virginity, your, your death is imminent in a horror slasher movie. Uh, yeah, so, excellent. Excellent use of, of the trope there and and also throwing in my spears bigger because they get speared He's put jason puts it through the both of them while they're in bed yeah it's brutal it's great by the way uh uh should have said this before this video but spoilers for friday the 13th part 2 an over 30 year old movie almost 40 year old movie if you haven't seen it whoops <laughs> Mother says that you're all hoes and she's ahead so she would know. <laughs> Again, more subtle sexual innuendo. 
Uh, really, really good. Again, him just walking through the forest, you know, the campgrounds are near a forest, so it's appropriate setting-wise. Uh, but, uh, yeah, yeah, uh, visually, for a comedy music video, personally, I would like to see more. Nothing wrong with what I'm seeing, say, per se. And I understand working on a budget, believe me. Most of my videos, if you ever watch any of them, I am definitely working on a budget. But it's, uh, you know, you, you, you want the video to kind of help elevate what you're saying in the lyrics, not just emulate exactly what you're doing. Uh, in, in a personal preference, again, that's just, that's just how I feel about it. Your mileage may vary. Isn't that... No, I don't know if that's the final girl or not. I don't remember. It's been a while since I've seen two. But excellent music here. Just a great instrumental for this for this track. <laughs> well, Scotty was hanging out with you. He was upside down, and then and then you slashed his throat. So he was literally hanging out with you, and then and then everybody and then, and then there were guts hanging out with you later. You know what I mean. Really, man. <laughs> All right, getting a little intense there. Well done. Yeah, just. <laughs> yeah, there's the fake out. So yeah. <laughs> I love this is just basically summarizing the movie, but from Jason's perspective. That's great. Yeah, for those of you who may not realize this, in the second movie, Jason is just wearing a burlap sack with one eye hole cut out in this movie. He doesn't get the emblematic, the iconic hockey mask until the third movie, which is the one that's in 3D. Um, so yeah, absolutely correct there. If I'm gonna go 3D, I'm gonna need a new mask. That's where it comes in. Uh, by the way, if you haven't played the Friday the 13th game that came out recently on PlayStation 4 and Xbox and all that, uh, it's excellent. It's a multiplayer isometric game, uh, not isometric, uh, um, it's four versus one, basically, I, or five versus one, something like that. I can't remember what the term is. It might be asymmetric. I don't know. I always get it confused with another word. It doesn't matter. Anyway, it's like Dead by Daylight in that you have four survivors and the killer. Uh, Ghostbusters just came out and did a game like that, too. Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed, made by the people who made the Friday the 13th game. So, good stuff. You occasionally get to play as Jason and kill people and otherwise uh, things, stuff. It's good, is what I'm saying, and it, it, it kind of plays homage to the entire series. Unfortunately, because of the legality going on with the series right now from the original creators who made the first movie, they are not able to update that game anymore, and uh, there had some really cool things planned, and they had to get cancelled, and so that game is not updated anymore. But it's still playable, and uh, you should play it. It's good. Even single-player, they added, like, kind of, like, missions to play as Jason, kill this certain number of people in this certain number of ways. So even if you don't play online, there is that to it. So, weird thing to throw in here, but Halloween, all right. <laughs> These are all clips from three, so yeah. I kind of wish uh, Two Sleeps had maybe dressed as Jason for this music video instead of being themselves in it to sing, because it's singing from the perspective of Jason, and that would have added a little something to, to the music video. Again, working on a budget, I understand that. Maybe that's not, you know, 
within the realm of, of doability to do a video quickly, but uh, you know it would it would add a little bit more production value look to the video. Again, nothing wrong with what you've done here, but as a as a viewer, that's kind of like what I would like to see for something like this. But you know, again, your mileage may vary. The song fucking rips, so <laughs> it's a great tune. Uh, the video kind of you know it's it's a good visual for the for the song so bravo on on all the points there uh, I think that's the end of it unless there's a tag at the end of the video here and we're moving on to the Sepultura style Ghostbuster cover by Psycho Stick they released this song last year but uh, that was only a lyric music video so I didn't react to it here and now they have a full music video uh, out for that which I am excited to see just fading out here. Yep. Okay, so. Now, the Ghostbuster, not Ghostbusters, that's what the movie is called and the song is called originally. This is a cover of that song, but it's done in the style of the metal band Sepultura. Uh, and uh, this is a song by Psycho Stick, like I said, came out a year ago with a lyric video when the song came out. Didn't react to it then because it was just a lyric video. Now we have an actual full music video. This is from their album And Stuff, which I've talked about on the show here before. Uh, a B-Sides collection. Excellent. Worth uh, picking up. Some really great tracks on there, uh, even though they are B-Sides. Uh, check it out. This is being one of them. This is a great tune. I love this song. Looking forward to the video. band, of course. No ghost! <laughs> oh no, they dropped the burrito! Oh, sad. <laughs> Just slid across it. He's got a shirt with Sotch Squatch, but he's throwing the horns. That's great. <laughs> and this is, of course, their studio where they do live concerts practically weekly. If you're not following, following them on Twitch or here on YouTube, they do live concerts all the time, every week on Thursday. Uh, check them out. They have like different seasons and like they have like a theme for each season, so that's pretty great. They're just running around, <laughs> just back and forth. <laughs> Being chased by spiritual things. Uh, the mannequin is going to start moving, I guarantee. <laughs> and, and Rob just gets attacked by the, the mannequin. Uh, that's excellent. I love the style of this song. <laughs> it's just so, like shortened phrases and stuff, and I, you know, I, I guess that's Sepultura style. I think it's supposed to be on a specific song, but, like, not exactly a parody of that song, just kind of done in the style of that specific Sepultura song. Um, but it just, just the way he sings this just cracks me up. Yeah, don't cross the streams. Oh, thank you. there goes the head. Wow. Guys, that looked great. I know it's reverse footage, but that looked awesome. <laughs> oh no, the ghost shark mannequin is pulling him back in. <laughs> Uh, now the ghost is stealing all their beer. <laughs> and Rob's hat! No! Making out with the other mannequin. By the way, that hat of Rob's you can see in one of my music videos, the music video for Delivery Boy, because I shot it at their studio, and the guy who directs their videos, Patrick Murph, uh, directed the video for me. So, yeah, a little synergy there. These guys are awesome. Patrick's awesome. Oh, yes! 
the not not authentic ghost busting equipment. These are like shop vacs <laughs> and and just various things they've thrown together. But the white outfits kind of make them look like. Do you remember the real Ghostbusters, the cartoon that they had of Ghostbusters? They had uh, fright features, figures that like if you pulled the arm, they would pull a scared face. And Egon was in a white suit. It had a had a tie though, and you pulled his arm like it, it had the, like the feature where you just push the arm in. And if you did that, his eyes would bug out with his glasses, his hair would flip up, and his tie would flip up. Uh, but it was a white costume. It was in white, white, the white jumpsuit. It reminds me of these white jumpsuits. These are clearly like painter's outfits that you get like from Home Depot or something. But uh, I, I, I love the simplicity of it because, you know, sometimes uh, things that are made clearly on a budget on purpose give that funny effect just by nature of it looking like that. Uh, that's always humorous to me. Uh, I, I dig that. I dig that. So, and also just, you know, I don't have a proton pack. I'm a huge Ghostbusters fan. I don't have my own proton pack. I did order the HasLab one, which won't arrive until next spring, but hey, you know, whatever. That's why my Ghostbusters video hasn't come out yet. Ah, whatever. <laughs> it's literally a shop vac. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who that ghost is. Oh no, shot him right in the junk, which is in the Ghostbusters 2016 reboot. Anyway, uh, I, I, I love that the, these lyrics just suddenly start referencing the movie. They're not exactly a full cover, so it's like Marshmallow Man walking these streets. <laughs> That's not in the original song. <laughs> That's from the second movie, Take a Bath, the Tub Eats Your Kid. <laughs> there was pink slime involved, come on. <laughs> in, each, in each ear. And he's going back for the ne next burrito since the other one got smushed. Oh no, more mannequins. Avoiding. <laughs> oh no. More. More burrito destruction. That's just a shop vac. He's just carrying a shop vac on his back. That's ridiculous and I love it. <laughs> it's almost... That's almost Luigi's Mansion levels of ghost busting, where you're just wearing a, a vacuum instead of like a, you know, a nuclear accelerator. Yeah, it's great. I, I, no, no, it's absolutely perfect. <laughs> and it's got a flashing light, that's so great. Oh no, it's one of the ghosts. <laughs> he got slimed. Wow, this one's just <laughs> just cardboard and lights that looks like the actual proton pack. <laughs> I, uh, I know kind of costuming like that, just kind of throwing anything together to make it look kind of approximating the thing. I dig that. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, God, they're plugging the instruments into it. <laughs> Just kicking the shit out of a ghost. Happy Halloween. The crown is returned. <laughs> Still didn't get his burrito. <laughs> no, he just beat some Rob for it. <laughs> just, just bravo. Uh, bravo to, to Cooks uh, for the costumes and Suzu uh, all being on the crew with Cux. Spooky ghost man Jason Halleck shot by second eunuch Ari Halleck. Wow, bravo. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, and Murph. Uh, directed and edited that. That's awesome. Murph's great. 
He also directed one of my videos. Check that out if you get a chance. Maybe I'll put a card up here if I remember. Um, yeah, that was great. Uh, we're gonna go... We're gonna take a small break here while I switch batteries, and then we'll be back with the final reaction. Because... batteries. And we're back. Okay, one more video to do. This is the Merkins, aka the Slash Street Boys. Well, actually, scratch that, reverse it. It's the Slash Street Boys slash the Merkins uh, with their new original Halloween song, Love to Die. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Merkins are a comedy group and they do different horror-themed comedy songs, sometimes parodies, actually usually parodies, uh, and they theme them around horror movie icons. The Slash Street Boys are their boy band made up of horror movie icons. You've got Ghostface, Leatherface, um, Jason Face, Michael Myers Face. Um, they don't all have face in the name, but you know what I mean. The first two did, so I made it a thing. And uh, there's a fifth one, and I can't remember who it is, but I'm sure it'll pop up in this video. And they usually do Backstreet Boys parodies themed around slasher movies. They also do other songs with other horror icons singing songs. They had Ghostface singing a parody of Adele's Hello, of course, called Hello, Sydney. Uh, they had uh, Pinhead from Hellraiser doing Man in the Box, because of course... Uh, so, yeah, there's they move along themes. Um, I've reacted to quite a few of them here, and I probably will react to them more even beyond Halloween. But this was their Halloween song, so we're checking it out. Uh, this is the Slash Street Boys with their brand new non-parody first original song that I know of that they've done for the Slash Street Boys' Love to Die. Um, hey, Sydney, it's uh, me again, Ghostface. Freddy is the other one in the band. I forgot. There we go. And of course, Ghostface, calling Sydney. Remember me? Anyways, me and the boys are gonna sing a song I wrote just for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just the fact that you've got the slashers. Uh, from iconic horror films being a boy band and you know they usually if they do talk they talk all dark and sinisterly and then suddenly golden voices coming out of them when they sing hilarious to me and uh, from what I understand the people uh, performing in the videos are not the same people who do the voices but that's neither here nor there it's all theater it's all amazing we dig it G-Face. <laughs> they all have final girls, too, technically. So, yeah, they're all singing to their final girls. Sydney, Lori, Lori Strode from the Halloween movies. Never seen a shape like me, because that's what he was known as in the first movie, The Shape. That's what he's called in Dead by Daylight. Not the reference to the game. We all right. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, knives. I knew it. Uh, a brilliant, brilliant boy band pastiche. Uh, sounds exactly like the kind of songs you would get in the late 90s, early 2000s from, from the boy band machines that were coming out, like Backstreet Boys, NSYNC, 98 Degrees, all the bands of that nature. Uh, absolutely a great, just early 2000s bops kind of song, and... Everybody, every vocalist gets their chance to shine with their own verse. Absolutely flawless. And, and the video, too, uh, absolutely perfectly encapsulates that kind of 
90s swagger, that, that early 2000s swagger that the boy bands had of, you know, you're just in a stark white room in your flyest outfits. So that all happened to match and just singing your heart out to the camera, but also, oh no, we're engaging in everyday activities like playing, you know, a, a game of bowling or whatever. Just absolutely perfect. Nails the aesthetic 100%. And that's the kind of thing, especially with a pastiche of a certain style, that really sell, helps sell that style in the music video. Really, really dig that. And also, that one shot of Michael Myers, where he's singing and has glasses on, over the mask, always funny. Always funny. When you're wearing a horror mask, but you have to wear your glasses over it, because otherwise you can't see who you're stabbing. I'm sorry, that's always funny. To me, anyway. <laughs> Bashful Jason. <laughs> they die because what you said to me, mommy. Tying in his whole lore to it, great. Wow. Friday the 13th wine. Apparently that really exists. At nice, nice throw in there, guys. That's excellent. <laughs> See, now that's what I'm talking about. Throwing in a gag visually to a song that's already funny. It's not pulling away from the lyrics, but it's actually el helping elevate the comedy of the situation of of the the slashers also being sensitive lover kind of boy band icons having drinking the wine through a straw through the mask that is a genius joke that is absolutely brilliant that's what i'm talking about ha about having something lift the visuals up and help elevate the message in the song the comedy of the song not just the lyrics not detracting from the lyrics but helping elevate them above absolutely great And the dance moves. So the glasses just kill me. Freddy is apparently the rapper of the group, which if you've seen his uh, Freddy's Nightmare, or, or Freddy's Paradise, Dreamer's Paradise, that's what it was. Dreamer's Paradise, which was Freddy Krueger's parody of Gangsta's Paradise uh, from a couple years ago. Obviously, Freddy is the rapper in the group. Uh, but everybody has their own part to play in the group. That's just amazing and hilarious. And of course, these early 2000s songs had a rap breakdown with the boy band of a member that thought they could rap. <laughs> it's just, just, it's it's so emblematic of that time. And this is not a direct parody of any specific song. And I appreciate, I, I did a boy band pastiche myself, it's called Married Life. Uh, and and uh, you want to pull from those tropes because that's what makes it funny. You're pulling from all the tropes that you have heard in those songs before. It's the recognition that goes, oh yeah, I've heard a song like this, you know, Seeing that that's something that's in all of those songs makes it funny because you realize they're all kind of doing the same thing. They're all following the same formula of a song structured like that. And the inherent humor in that is the one of recognition of, oh yeah, they all do kind of do that. They all do kind of have a weird little rap break that kind of seems out of left field in the middle of the song. Beautiful. <laughs> And they all come in with theme. That's so good. <laughs> there is something brilliant about Leatherface number one in a boy band, already funny. But Leatherface doing his iconic spinning around madness with the chainsaw, 
but in a boy band outfit with the, the frickin' cloth robe there and the swagged out style, doing it like it's a dance move. Absolutely great. Holy crap. Uh, Merkins, if you're watching this, you've outdone yourselves with this video. This is freaking brilliant. Uh, wow. So good. And the choreography. Well done. <laughs> the pimp hats. All right, Leatherface, that was, that was a bit much. I didn't need to see that, but, you know, it fits, I guess, but... Uh. <laughs> oh, we're getting some Freddy vs. Jason vibes there. Awesome. Bravo. I did not get your message, either because you were not speaking or because of a bad connection. Please try again later. Goodbye. Oh, Willie. I'll call back. Aw, <laughs> Sydney didn't get the message. What a shame. Sydney. Did I say Cindy? Cindy? I meant to say Sydney. So yeah. Well, some of them have were played by three people. I think one's a vocalist and two might be different dancers. Or performers. Leatherface was all one person. Cause cause Leatherface didn't have a... Leatherface didn't have a verse. Everybody had a verse except for Leatherface, so Leatherface was only one person. That's interesting. Done in a day MF uh, bowling place, great. Uh, all the places they were filming and sponsors and stuff. Excellent stuff. Uh, I watched the credits on movies too, so I sit through the credits on, on videos. I sadly didn't do it with the Psycho Stick video before this because I, my camera was dying. But there was an outtakes at the end of that video if you want to check it out. But, uh, yeah, that is all the, uh, all the videos for this Halloween. I'm saying as this is playing us out, uh, if you want to check out these videos without me talking over them, links are, of course, in the description below. Be sure to check them out. If you're in the Chicago area, I am performing with a bunch of my comedy music friends for my buddy Robbie Ellis's CD release or album release party show on Saturday, November 5th at The Annoyance in Chicago. Ticket information is in the description below, and uh, yeah, if you uh, please enjoy this video, if you enjoyed this video, please, I got the order of things wrong there, if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe, do all the things to feed the algorithm to get more eyeballs onto these videos, and if you really want to help the channel out and support me, you can consider supporting me on Patreon, where patrons get to see these videos early, get to hear my music early, get exclusive Patreon reactions, and all sorts of other cool things like that. Anyway, that's enough for this week. Happy Halloween, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye.